Here we are. What time is it, Mom? Past fast time, 8.30. Oh, we can't, I'm late. We're fine. Got nowhere to be. I would be, I would be, uh, if we were to have a vote, I would put together a stimulus package for fathers and kids that eliminates bedtime. I think part of the coronavirus package should be that for kids and dads, there's no bedtime. We got nowhere to be tomorrow. I mean, I have to work. I have conference calls and here's stuff. The issue with that is you will just sleep in and I have to get up with the kids. So, like, why would it be an issue? Like, for fathers and kids well, just to make mothers more miserable? You win some, you lose some. There's a winner in, in every crisis. Yes. So I wanted to know because I think people right now need help. Everybody, everybody needs you. God knows you need help. Angie Vaughn's on here. Say hi to Angie. Hi, Angie. My buddy Matt Hockley, hey, the Angie Bark the Man, nurse. Daniel Barker, Angie. Brandy's on here. Okay, Angie, the nurse. Angie, thank you for all that you do. Frontline people. Yeah. Thank you. We appreciate. Plus, she's you. married to Ferd, so God knows that God, is like. Thank you for all you do. Yeah. Things. Yeah. She probably <laughs> loves going to work with Ferd being home so much. So tell us. What are some of your tips to how to manage this? We've had these kids locked in here. <clears throat> the girls are bouncing off the walls. Dinners, people are we're still eating dinners. We're having breakfast. We're how are, how do you keep it all together? Um, it's not too out of the norm for me because my kids are younger preschool kids. Yeah, those like couple hours of preschool I get. I'm listening. Yeah, this is, one here. Um, I've learned to appreciate. We have our first victim <laughs> of the virus lockdown. This kid is being deprived of okay. so many first developmental. Birthday. She's going to be a wild one. Um, Look at her. She already. No I'm toys because. And right. So this is what you're left with. No. Every um, other kid had toys. Not Olivia Bell. <laughs> no toys because of the lockdown. So she chews on water. So anyway, you were saying. Uh, we spend a lot of time outside and. I answer the girls' questions. Like, I think that for so long you try not to tell them because they don't understand, but they are asking, you know, why we're not going to dance, why we're not going to What do you tell them? I tell them that there are people that are sick, and um, I told Maya about the virus and that... What did she... Hold on. <laughs> so how did you tell... Maya about Maya's how old? Maya is five. I mean, I know how old she is, but people. So they would. understand being sick and not wanting to get sick. Yes. Like not spreading germs. So the easiest way for me to explain why we can't go to dance and go to cheer or take our Disney trip or go to Kalahari is because we don't want to get sick or get anybody else sick. Yeah. And they are very close to my parents, so they understand that like the Nani and Nanus of the world, which are the grandparents, the older generation of the world can get more sick right so if you put it to them that way they understand and it's a little less of a fight as to why we can't just go to target to buy a party you're not going to use the virus like you do santa when this is all over do you like if you don't get down from there no, i'm going to bring the I've virus doing, back what i've been doing is if you guys don't listen that would be bad daddy's going to stay home more days and then they're like they listen so well they're like okay mommy we'll do whatever we need to do that's not so, funny yeah not, not funny so, at all Boo. Um, the real question. So wait, so you told, how did you, what, cause I heard every morning Lily gets up and says, is, is the, the virus over? Yeah. Um, where does she want to go? Like right now she's got her heart so set up. She wants to do all the fun things. Yeah. Lily and Lily, it, we go to Chuck E. Cheese probably once every other week. God, they've missed out on so um, many activities. Lily has not gone to basketball or dance. She's in ballet. She's in basketball. She's in gymnastics. Um, they have those practices. What's up, Rob? Say hi to Rob Nylinger. Hi, Rob. Um, so they haven't done any of their activities. <gasps> Omar's on here. <gasps> hi, Omar. Oh, Omar, Captain. Look, Omar, Omar, look. Say hi. Is, is Olivia say Bell hi. her youngest great grandchild? Is there any other? Yes. Is there? Right now, she is the youngest. Yeah, she's but the youngest. One of your cousins is engaged, right, and not married yet, yeah. so she won't be the youngest for much longer, probably. Or until we have another one. <laughs> yeah. So Olivia's first birthday got pushed again. I was really sad. Well, actually, her birthday still happened. It's her party her just party, didn't happen. Her princess extravaganza. Good job, Rob. What'd you get for it? 
He sold a four unit that we were talking about. Hi, Mama. I'm glad that people are still doing business. Stay positive. I like was a Debbie Downer this morning, but I'm back to. We got to be positive. We're gonna get through this. We're still working. I just told Eric today. I'm so thankful that our business helps other people, and we are considered. I worked essential. all day today. I just finished up at. I mean, how long was I not? I wish Eric was able to go look at more homes and be out a little more than he is, but I'm just grateful he's still working. Um. 67.5. Gave it away. I told you. Told you, told you, told you. Hopefully they bought it as is, but good for you. Okay. What other tips? Um, Have you found anything with the girls? Like, do they get a little antsy? Like, they do. They're fighting more than they normally do because they're with each other all the Not you and I, though. We're, we're two peas in a pod. No, I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty... I mean, now I'm probably reaching my, like, Eric Max, but I, I'm... I enjoy you being around more. Oh. That's like the hidden blessing in disguise as we, as a family, the other, we've been eating dinner together every night and with sports schedules now, even the girls and Camden's schedule, we used to do that every day and now, you know, we're doing it again. It was staggered for a while. And what so do you think? So this continues through April 30th. <laughs> Any plans or suggestions about I mean, do you think we'll just continue to do the same things inside and a little bit of playing outside to get us through the next 31 days? Or, well, or? I um, just figured out how to put my little um, carrier on my bike. So yes. I'm, gonna go I'm excited the about trail. the bike rides. Um, Pat Precourt's on here. Him and I are connecting for a call tomorrow. Do you want to say hi? Hi, Pat. Yeah. Um, we've been, the girls have been working out with me a lot, which I think is so fun. Um, Maya was on the rower today. We have a, a very nice home. Oh, we got a Peloton. We got a Peloton. Um, I have a beautiful home gym that Eric has allowed me to get whatever I needed. Um, I miss my trainers, Matt Marshall, John Turpath. I miss you guys. Um, but uh, my girls have been working out with me. Camden and I worked out every day last Camden week. Camden did good. Super fun. Um, just stay active. Stay sane. It'll pass. We'll get through it. Stay off of Facebook as much as Stop possible. Stop reading, like, watch one news. I watch, news I watch the governor the it. governor every day. That's it. So the governor, and you know what? Today we had back-to-back -to -back TV commercials at 1.59 oh. p.m. Oh, Rob, I'll buy your Peloton from you if you don't use it. We're getting a second one anyway. I'll buy your Is Peloton. He in love with it? He said it's never been used. Okay, so... I think because I... Okay, sh he never used it, so don't say anything. I'm that not in love with it either, though. That's oh. why I wanted to get his... Why? Name. I don't know. Like, I think everybody, like, hyped it up so much, and, like, I expected, like, I, today, could have done a 20-minute Peloton workout, and I chose to do... One I will be a big fan of, of the Peloton, I believe. I like the engagement with other people. I like the challenge of being able to compete against people in there. Well, I like yeah, that it... There's a, the guy has a British accent, the one trainer. Like, I like that you can just get on there and they tell you what to do. Like, it's kind of, it's, I mean, it's like having a trainer on a bike. Yeah, I guess, I don't know, it's the whole sitting on the bike thing that I guess I don't love yeah. so much. Yeah, um, it's like laundry. It's like the whole, <laughs> oh, wait, no. Yeah. It's like the whole warming up the stove thing. Okay, I cooked dinner for breakfast. Now I took three meals a day. That was a client. Who got that? Your client. Yep, you see, I came through, I delivered. Who made you Steak tips for lunch. Are you oh, serious? like for real right now? No sides though. I didn't get any sides. You're doing keto. You don't get sides. I, but I mean, I could a little mushroom in there, a little onion, okay. tomato, a little something, right, something. Facebook Live. I gotta give my babies a bath. No, I did have steak tips. No, what was the sauce all about? Garlic. Frontline people, thank you. First responders. First responders. Everybody that's working, stay safe. Everybody that's home, stay sane. Um, pray for Eric. He needs it as long as he's home with me. Whatever. Um, stay active. Don't lay on your butt all day and be sad because it, it's not good for anybody. Watch it's the so news awesome. and check on Facebook twice a day. Stay once in the beginning, FaceTime. once at the end. FaceTime is fun. We just, yeah. my niece just read a story to my daughters via FaceTime. Yep. They loved it. Um, I had a Zoom happy hour with some of my girlfriends. Yeah, I was I, I, I was in there a little bit. I hopped in there. Yeah, so stay connected. We're lucky to have technology. Thank God. Yeah. All right, good night. Say bye. Good night.